Pachycephalosaurus are ghosts, or at least they were. For those unfamiliar, this is a Pachycephalosaur, or Pachy for short. These were small, hard-headed dinosaurs that are also known as nature's battering rams. But even though they're one of the most recognizable groups of dinosaurs, we actually know very little about their evolutionary history. See, every Pachy is known from the latest Cretaceous, from about 80 to 66 million years ago. They're known from North America and Asia, and their closest relatives lived in China over 150 million years ago. These were early Ceratopsians, like Yin Long. That means that we have a massive gap in their evolution, called a ghost lineage that spans over 70 million years. That's longer than the entire age of mammals. That is, until now. Just recently, a new pachycephalosaur was discovered in Mongolia, named Zavacephale rinpoche, or the precious origin head. Cephale is a very common word used in pachy names, so you could also read this as the precious origin pachy. Now, as you can probably guess, Zavacephale lived between 150 and 80 million years ago with an estimated age of about 110 million years. And it doesn't just help fill in the time between pachycephalosaurs and their origins. Zavacephale is a wonderful transitional fossil. Its skeleton captures many of the changes that distinguish pachys from their earlier relatives. The limbs are long and lanky, and its body is light, but not quite as light as many early ornithischians like Dryosaurus. It has a domed skull with thickened bone on top, but still has large open holes behind the dome, which many later Pachys close up. It also has huge eyes, which most Pachys shrink, probably to make them better at... Now the only specimen we have isn't fully grown, but the adults probably weren't much bigger than this. That's pretty small for a Pachy, though not as small as Micropachycephalosaurus hongtuyanensis, one of the smallest non-bird dinosaurs that also has the longest name of any dinosaur. Anyway, back to Zavacephalae. It's one of the most complete pachycephalosaurs we've ever found. Over 50% of the bones are there, and most of what's missing are ribs and some vertebrae. For context, most of the other pachy skeletons we have are called Cretaceous meatballs for a reason. Altogether, Zavacephalae is another amazing discovery that's helping to fill in the gaps in our understanding of dinosaur evolution. Like and subscribe for more content like this, and I hope you have a love... Lee Day.